Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hey, everybody. Hi. Good to see you. Welcome back to the Natasha and Debbie show. Here we are. As always. <laughs> um, we have a lot to say really quickly today because today's video sets a precedent for us and, and where we're going to go with yeah. the channel um, for a little while anyway. So um, before we get going, um, please like the video. And um, subscribe. And subscribe. But before you subscribe. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a dis big disclaimer. Um, we've been saying lately how, you know, please only subscribe if you go back and watch our other videos and you make sure you want to be a subscriber. And we're staying with that. But we really just want people to subscribe only, not based off just one video we've done. You know, we want you to be part of our YouTube family. Uh, we are on Facebook Live a lot on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten to know a lot of you personally because we can bring you on camera and have face-to-face -face conversations. And it's it's going on some nights till um, midnight our time, five o'clock your time. It's yeah. been amazing. And it's been wonderful getting to know some of you personally. Oh, it's been absolutely awesome. Chat. We just want to make sure that if you subscribe to the channel, that it's because you like what we're doing. You, you know, you're interested in learning with us. Having said that, we, um, you know, at some point we'll move on from the UK and go to other countries. Um, but we want to get all the information that we can fill in our brains of the UK before we move on. And, mm -hmm. and if we do move on, we're going to come back. We're never going to learn at all, obviously. Yeah. So that's kind of what we were thinking as far as going into this video today. This video, it's actually called the 10 best places to visit in England, but I changed the title of it in our video because this is just one person's opinion over the 10 best places. Way more than 10 places to visit in England. I mean, how could anybody, um, how do you number it? How do you rank it? So you don't. These are going to be 10 of the places yes. to visit in England. And exactly. I think that's even better the way she said that. Let's start here. And I like the way you said the 10, 10 places to yeah, oh, two visit, two, yeah, ten places of England, <laughs> but we wanted to. We haven't looked in England. We haven't. There's so many places. We we've, we've only done the video on Wales and Scotland. Mm -hmm. We want to look further into this beautiful um, island. You know, yeah, uh, that is the UK or islands, I should say. I always forget it's an island. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we want to look further into it. And having said that, today we're going to do this and look into this. And please drop in the comment section, guys, like your favorite places in England that may be off the beaten path. And thanks for us to check out. Um, I really want to look into the Lake District and I want to do a video on that. And if anyone has like a really good video on the Lake District, mm -hmm. drop in the comments. Um, and I think there was another location, um, Cotswold, I think is Cotswold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and I have talked about it, but we haven't seen it. We, no. we, we want to look at that too. But, you know, things that we don't know about, we may not know about, let us know what you'd like to see us do and see what cities yeah. and towns and, um, you know, not just England, but Scotland. Uh, Wales. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely want to check out Cardiff more too. Um, you know, of course, Nor Ireland and Northern Ireland. Yep. Let us know. So let's see all the beauty that is England that I've been wanting to see for so long. I'm excited. All right, ready? I am ready. Let's do it. Turn the volume up. Ignore the 10 best, okay? Let's just say 10 places. Because we don't know. And it's unfair. England is a richly historic country and one that is packed oh. with fascinating destinations. It's a great place to explore. And whether you're a resident or tourist, the country retains a boundless capacity to surprise, charm, and excite. From the mystery of I ancient say. Stonehenge to the modern architecture along the Thames River, Plus England gorgeous. has a wide Where's range that? of appeal to visitors from around the world. Here's a look at the best places to visit in England. I'm going to go there. Sign me up for all of it so far. I love the greenery. Just love it. Number 10. Chester. Haven't heard of it. Located in northwest England, just on the Welsh border, oh. Chester is a charming city with Roman origins. <laughs> its oh, wow, biggest cool. attraction might just be the Chester Cathedral, a stunning structure that was one of the few to survive under Henry VIII oh. because it was simply too beautiful to tear down. 
Travel back even further in time by exploring some of the Roman landmarks, such as the ancient walls or the ruins of an enormous amphitheater. Just across the street from the Roman amphitheater is a traditional 19th century Victorian garden, wow. perfect for picnics. I have to say one thing about this right here. This looks very German to me, the buildings. They do. You know? Like, it's what, you know, like I've seen, like, in Germany. Like, I haven't been to Germany. Um, or have I? I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I have not. That's but, what you think of. Yeah, I mean, there's some, like, German architecture, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the cross. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. Hansel and Gretel in our nursery books. Was Hansel and Gretel books. was English, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh no, now I see I say these things on YouTube. And that's gonna be like the comment. I always said that with German, but who knows? I don't Well they sound like German names. <laughs> Watch, they won't be German or English. I know. Okay. You will school us. <laughs> but please, before you do, make sure you read the comments first and see how many other people have schooled us on this thing. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to be schooled a hundred times. Yeah, it would be great not to do that. But um no, I just thought that that's not what I would picture in my head when I think of England. Is is that type of building with like no more? Yeah, I think of more brick and ivy and stone and ivy. I don't know. No, I love ivy. I wasn't judging you, <laughs> but it's pretty. What was this place again? Oh come on, Chester. Chester, thank you. I'm like, why doesn't it say it on there? That's not fair. Island of the island. I have never heard of Chester, and she says it was north. Okay, let's go back and watch more. It's really pretty. Oh, well, that's... See? It is pretty. It's stunning. Number 9. Brighton. Now, I've only heard of Brighton, Brighton for one on reason. the Sussex coast Hold has on. been a... Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Brighton Rock. That's the only thing I know about it. <laughs> this, the, that Queen <laughs> did a song with, the, the, with the name. So I'm actually very excited to see what it looks like because I knew nothing. Let's go. Let us know what you guys think of these places, too, and if any of you live here. Brighton on the Sussex coast has been coast. a popular beach resort since the mid-19th century. Much oh, yeah. of its popularity is due to the proximity to London, making it popular with day trippers. Mm -hmm. The beachfront is lined with graceful old Victorian homes that today provide tourist accommodations. Visitors will want to walk out on the famous Palace Pier or admire the traditional English gardens. The Palace Pier is where you'll find rides, attractions, and vendors selling pier? everything from ice cream cones to the pier? fish and chips. Winter? Beautiful, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get in Ooh. there. <laughs> it's a lot of waves. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to get in there. Oh, that's really cool. Number eight, Lake District. Hey. Sorry, I'm excited. Show me. Located in northwest England in the country of Cumbria, the Lake That's District beautiful. is the largest national park in the country. Oh, wow. The main attraction is the lakes and mountains carved by glacial erosion and providing dramatic and inspiring scenery. That is it is so England's beautiful. premier destination for hiking and climbing. Others may prefer more gentle walks through the valleys while they contemplate the works of William Wordsworth, a wow. famous 19th century poet, or riding a steam train through the scenic area. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
Number okay, seven. Just hold on there, lady. Cambridge. Slow it down a minute. So I'm rewinding this back like a bit because I wanna I wanna make a point here. I just oh gosh. It's beautiful. So like this isn't the picture I was looking for per se. But let's just say this one. Let me actually play it for a steam train through um, the scenic area. Because where is it? There's a certain spot. And then I can't find it. Um, there's a certain spot in here. Let's just say this, because there's so many. There's just so many. But like I wasn't really seeing a whole lot. I'm not speechless often. Y'all know that. Um it, it, it's kind of what I picture heaven to look like. Yeah. Just the, the, the couple of times we've seen a couple little flashes of the Lake District in one other video, we saw it for like 10 seconds mm -hmm. there. Like it, it is in my head. It's kind of what I picture heaven looks like. Yeah. So serene. Yeah. It, it, Calm. It, it's just, it, it reminds me of Colorado here in America, um, a state I've never been to, um, but a place that I, I kind of yearn for that. Like, I'm not a beach girl. Like I've been to the beach and I feel like going to, for me, going to a beach once, eh, you've seen an ocean, a beach, you've seen them all. <laughs> but I'm not really a big beach person. I can go have fun. I'm more of a mountain lake girl, you know, mm -hmm. like give me a glacial, 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 glacier glacial. lake. I don't know, which we have those here. Um, they're beautiful, but this is just stunning to me. Like this mm -hmm. is absolutely heaven on earth. Yeah, this um, I just have it on earth. So I, my question though, to you guys is um, like, how close are there, villages where people like live in to the lake district mm -hmm. like you know can someone live within a few minutes and does like Probably. spend their whole day there every day i don't know because i want to drive down that little road yeah i i do too i want to do everything here i want to i want to ride a horse can you do that there yeah, I know. i'm not generally asking <laughs> but it's just so beautiful to me i just uh, i want to go it's sorry i'm just can't stop looking at it it's so beautiful I mean, look at everything. Oh, okay. Moving on. Sorry. Bridge. There is no question that the main attraction in the city of Cambridge is the University of Cambridge, a campus with hundreds of years of history. <laughs> the university is made up of several colleges, some of the most famous of which include King's College, Queen's College, and Trinity College. Perhaps the best way to see Cambridge is just to stroll through the campus architecture, peeking into halls and admiring the Backs, a park located on the banks of the river. Beautiful. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait. She's surprised to see those not in Venice. We don't have those in America that I know of. That's awesome. Number six, Jurassic Oh, yeah, Coast. this was, I forgot this existed. It was in the other video. Fossil hunters may want so. to make a beeline for the Jurassic Coast, a <laughs> section in southern England that runs through from Bournemouth to Exmouth. The rocks Beautiful. date back 185 million years to Jeez. when the continents were crunching up against each other and then drifting apart. Museums along the way explain each region. Fossil hunters and all visitors should take time to walk the beaches or visit the small, charming towns along the way. That's take so care cool. when walking near cliffs, since I rocks can fall at any time. It's funny she thinks I would. <clears throat> it's just so pretty. That's awesome. I know it's not in a tropical place, it just looks like tropical though. Yeah. It's beautiful. But I ain't, I ain't walking near no cliffs. Yep. That's cool. Oh, we've got the people up there. <coughs> Number five Oxford. Isn't that like Cambridge a lot though? Just as Cambridge is known for its university, <laughs> so too is Oxford. That's a lot. Since Oxford University was established in the 12th century, however, its provenance oh, dates wow. even further back, making wow, it the, the oldest English-speaking campus in the world. 
If you only get the chance to see one building in Oxford, make it the breathtaking Bodolane Lane Library. Established oh, wow. in 1601, the library is home to more than 11 million volumes. Film buffs will appreciate that it has served as the backdrop for countless movies, including several from the Harry Potter that series. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Huh. I love that old architecture. Yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, look at there That's we go. Crazy. There we go. Mm -hmm. I want to live in a cottage with that as my <laughs> backyard or garden. And I want that guy to, to do that for me every day. Yep. <laughs> Number four, Stonehenge. Really? Again? Okay. Dotted along the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. Stonehenge is easily one of the most recognized ancient ruins in the world. Dating back over 5,000 years, these curious stone rings are some of the oldest stone structures on the planet. Created out of sandstone, they are ensconced in mystery. Who built them and why is still largely unknown. Two popular theories maintain that Stonehenge was used as a site for religious rituals <coughs> or otherwise to monitor the movements of the sun and moon. As you only need two hours to explore the ruins of Stonehenge, a day trip from London is often combined with a visit to Windsor or Bath. Okay, I have a question though, because um, when we did that video on the top 10 places to visit in the UK, um, they mentioned Stonehenge, Stonehenge and I had yeah. said to me, not a place that I would want to go, um, I feel like it's just like looking at a bunch of big rocks <laughs> and I stand by that statement because it's just, you know, to me, it's not appealing. That's my personal opinion. No one get mad. Get, don't get me wrong. Like I said before, if I yeah, was driving yeah. by it, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get out. I'm going to check it out. But it's not in my list of things. If I'm going to the UK, that yeah. I'm going to stop and see. It's I mean, just not. I'd much rather go see the yeah, lake architecture, the beautiful the scenery. Yeah. Yeah, the architecture is stunning. You guys really do live in an absolute beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, I couldn't imagine driving by any of these places on a normal basis. It's so like, hey, or look. even like, hey, let's just go for an hour and drive over yeah. here. We'll drive next to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have some beautiful places too. Can drive past the cow. Cow past the what? The cows. Number yeah. three, Bath. I've been wanting to see about this place. Heard about it? I've seen it. Bath got its name because. That's what it was when it was founded by the Romans in 60 AD, who 60? built baths here because of the hot springs. It reached okay. its popularity peak in the <laughs> Georgian sense. years, when the wealthy flocked here for the spas. Besides being okay. famous for its waters, the city also is an excellent example of Georgian architecture. The city has an active cultural scene today, with live theater and fine dining, and makes a good base from which to visit the monolithic Stonehenge. I'll go to Bath to see Stonehenge. Sure. That's pretty cool. That's, what is that? That's awesome. That was cool. I hope these places are all like historically like protected to where they never. Hey, let's go in there. Let's go to I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, look, there's a souvenir t shirt gift shop. Someone, please. <laughs> we have a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah, a souvenir for Bath. Big flags. I haven't gotten a Scottish look. This place is stunning. Wow. Oh, I would love to know how tall that ceiling is. Number two, York. The city of York <coughs> is a truly ancient destination, and it boasts an impressive collection of architectural remains that date to Roman, medieval, and even Viking oh, wow. times. 
Plenty of exciting sights compete for visitors' attention as they stroll along the city's cobblestone streets. One of the city's landmarks is York Minster. This commanding stone cathedral is filled with remarkable works of art. The medieval Clifford's Tower, which was built by William the Conqueror wow. and rebuilt by Henry III in the 13th century, Jeez. is a great vantage point for panoramic views around the city. But I could afford absolutely nothing in any of these shops. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm watching this and trying to shop and see what stores are around. <laughs> I knew you were. She'd be shopping and I'd just be like photographing everything around me, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> like that. That is stunning. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Number one, London. I knew it would be London, but let's check it out. We haven't seen London. English history buffs will have a field day in London. This city on the Thames is chock full of palaces, from Buckingham Palace to Hampton Court Palace. I don't know that really More a prison than a palace, the Tower of London is home to the Crown Jewels. And from Knightsbridge, don't forget to visit the magnificent food halls at Harrods, to Carnaby Street, the shopping is awesome. You can get around London quickly and efficiently by riding Huge. the famous tube. I don't know, I didn't expect all those skyscrapers. I didn't. That, that's pretty. That was not modern. So it's modern looking those skyscrapers. Can't rely on the touch. Well, they have to add some stuff on at some point, right? I know, but I thought maybe the outside would look classic. In some areas. I cannot remember the name of that bridge. <clears throat> Help me. Yeah, I mean, I really, this is the, the most I've ever seen London, honestly. I've seen Clifford. Yeah, not much. In other videos. Not this much. This is the fun movie. Double decker process. I want to go watch those. Yeah, I want to watch it. Nah, that would be so cool. How many signs do you think I could steal? I mean, <laughs> I mean flags. None. All right, that's at the end of that. I'm not stealing your flags. I mean, you guys could just. I'm just kidding. Cancel. I want to watch stealing. this. I'm not going to steal any. I'm like, that's a lot of flags. You know, I could just jump up there and grab one. <laughs> I After guess. After watching that, I have a question. Are the beaches, oh, it's not for me. <laughs> are the beaches more sandy or rocky? They looked rocky in the video. Or does that depend on the coast? Where you're at, what what part of the coast you're on? Yeah, because we were looking into going um to Europe actually uh, a few years back. We uh, instead decided to uh, renovate, remodel our home. Mm -hmm. We were going to go do a trip to um, Dubrovnik in Croatia, and um, then we were going to go. I said then, <laughs> and then we were going to go to Italy. Um, and then hit the south of France. Um, but we were looking at all the beaches and seeing how they were all like rocky. I have a question because I was wondering that too. And I was looking at that thinking it looked like it was a mixture almost of sand and rocks. And is it hot enough to just like go lay on the beach? Ever. Well, in the summer. I don't know. I didn't see anybody out there laying on the beach. Yeah. Well, that, you know, that's a good question too. I know a lot of people say it can get really warm in England, you know, mm -hmm. and hot in fact. Um, but at the same time, I wonder once you're closer to the ocean though, like how much does that affect the temperature too? Yeah, I mean, maybe there's a cold breeze and yeah, the be... water's too cold. I, obviously, I don't know. Clearly, we still don't know. <laughs> but um, but no, please like uh, let us know what you think of the places that they put in. And again, remember, we didn't make this list. We're not saying it's a top 10. We're just watching to see. I, I didn't look at it as a top 10. I looked at it as just places to visit. 10 places to visit. Yeah. Um, and we hope that you'll understand that that's how we're seeing it. Because we, yeah. we, we're not doing the whole top 10 of things like that. It's just too... Too much of a personal opinion. Yeah. Um, too much preferential. Yeah. Like, I, there's still places in my head that I've heard of that I haven't seen yet that we'd like to look in. A lot of the places um, on here I had not heard of or we have not ever checked out. So that was mm -hmm. a good introduction to England in some ways. I'm sure there's more. But again, in the comments, let us know some places that you think we should look into. Um, we definitely want to do a video on um, the Lake District. I yes. really do. Um, and the Cotswolds as well, mm -hmm. which we've only heard about. But let us know what you think if you guys like the, the kind of content you want to see too. I mean, we definitely want to learn and we want to see more of your mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful 
the beautiful United Kingdom. That's right. Um, and um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this because we certainly did. Um, that was just stunning to me. I mean, I'm not going to lie, of course. It's obvious for me the Lake District was to be the most beautiful of all those places. Mm-hmm. What, what about you? I'd probably go to one of more of the cities so that I can go shopping. Like, I want to go in that hair salon and check it out. I don't remember where that was. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. We'll but go back. I'll, I'll rewatch it. Yeah. Any hair salon, anywhere. I'll go check it out. She just wants to see what it's like over there versus here. <laughs> um, but uh, which is a haircut? <laughs> Questions in Debbie's head. <laughs> if you guys, please like the video. Um, please consider subscribing. But please go back to the beginning of the video and and hear what we had to say about the subscriptions. And again, we we appreciate you all so yes. very much. And we hope that you'll tune in on Sunday and see that video. Um, and and let us know again in the, in the comments. You know what you want to see. Um, mm-hmm. What you think about you know what what we're doing and uh, in general about the show. So until then. Until next time. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.